Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is two five all Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe She bravely revealed to the group how At times when she was already experiencing emotional difficulty She felt like her mother had shamed her when Jada asked Willow if there was anyone she had to forgive in her life, Willow replied, look, 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 look. I definitely had to forgive you and Dad for that whole blow. Daddy was primarily to blame because he could be so strict at times when it comes to Jada Pinkett Smith's unconventional parenting techniques. Unconventional meaning she let the kids do what they want. So unconventional that she had a 20-year-old white boy with no shirt taking pictures with Willow when Willow was only 13. The white boy with no shirt was 20. Willow was 13 and Will didn't bitch slap him. She bravely revealed to the group. Pac and trying to figure that out, Ooh. you know. And that was a huge. She keep talking about Pac. <laughs> huge loss in my life. Absolutely. Yeah. The Were you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? Uh, oh, fuck yeah. What? My relationship was really special. Will, you really admit that? This is some, some things I'm taking to the grave. I ain't letting no, I will never let nobody know when I'm jealous. I ain't gonna let nobody know when I'm uh, scary. I ain't gonna let nobody know when I'm uh, I'm unsure. Oh, my game is tight every day, baby. It was very uh, com complicated. Confessions galore. Willow Smith has spoken out on the letter she wrote for Tupac, look, look, look. begging him to come back for Jada Pinkett Smith. The Smith family just can't seem to catch a break. Days after Will Smith <laughs> leaked, <laughs> they can't catch a break. Family is crazy. The palm of his hand against Chris Rock's face, haunting all family secrets, have resurfaced on the web. The internet is ripped to Tupac Shakur has surfaced. How does Willow feel about it now, and what does she have to say about it? Mm -hmm. Keep on watching to find out. A letter allegedly written by Willow Smith to Tupac Shakur has surfaced online. Following, I don't know if she's gonna read, but I'm reading for you. Let's blow this up. <laughs> can we be messy? Two five zero, capital G. Can we be messy? <clears throat> Dear Tupac, I know you are alive someplace. I think that my mommy really misses you. Meanwhile, she's uh, married to your daddy. Can you please come back? Can you come back so mommy and me can be happy? So the key word is me. Now, I don't know if she, I don't know if she uh, had dreams. I don't know if Willow Smith had dreams about Tupac. Being her dad and uh, him, Tupac loving her, her mom because I don't think Willow ever saw Jada and Will Smith in a healthy, functioning relationship. She didn't see anything good in that household, but all she hear is how this man named Tupac, she really loved, her mama really loved him. It's obvious that she doesn't love Will and she never seen her mama really show how much she loved her dad. So she was like, well... At that time, when she wrote this letter, she was a little child. So she was like, well, I'm a little child, and I just want to see a functioning family. And the only man that really had my mommy's heart was Tupac Shakur. So can you please come back and fix this mess? Can you please come back, Tupac, from the grave and fix this mess? Or she said, he's alive. Wherever you at, Bahamas, Costa Rica, Canada, please come back and make my mommy happy. So if you make mommy happy... I'll be happy because I think I think Jada was whooping them kids. I think Jada was whooping Will, and I think she was whooping them kids too. That's my personal opinion. Let's go. And her father, Will Smith's controversial Oscar, hey, will something? feel about it now, and what does she have to say about it? Keep on watching to find out. A letter allegedly written oh, by Will. I missed a part. I wish you were here. Oh, the key part was me. I got that part. I wish you were here. I really do. Damn. Love, Willow. She's Tupac even got your daughter's heart. Now Will Smith has feel smaller than a damn Boston baked bean. He has to feel smaller than a damn lemon head right now. He has to smell faller than a single little nerd can. A little tiny little nerd can. That's how Will should feel right now because not only is he macking your wife, he got your wife's heart. He has your daughter's heart, and he never even met your daughter. This family is crazy. Willow Smith to Tupac Shakur Instagram in 2012, according to Jorge when Tupac died, which makes this letter seem pretty strange. Yeah. yeah. 
The letter was supposedly added to Instagram mm. in 2012, according to Jorge Rivas at Color Lines. Willow, who was 11 years old at the time, reportedly added a picture of the letter to her Instagram in August 2012, saying she wrote it years ago, but the post mm. has since been deleted. A TikTok featuring the letter and commentary around, it has over 266,000 likes and 31,000 shares at press time. Your wife is in love with a dead man. <laughs> did, did Tupac? Why is Will Smith's daughter writing a letter to Tupac? The popular post became viral on the heels of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the 1940s Oscar over a joke the latter made about Jada Pinkett Smith and her Jada say around the house to make her write that. Not oh, really? Will writing letters to mm -hmm. Tupac to come back and make her mother happy. Is there a shrine to Pac in the Smith's house? Like, I don't get it. I she never you. even met the man, wrote another. The sentiments were shared by many across the planet. We're going to go over to the letter she wrote to her mom recently, and I'm going to be right back with you. Mm, my introduction to sex was obviously walking in on you and daddy. That was the first introduction. What the hell did what you walk in on us? us? It was in Utah. That uh, one, no, not Utah. Ass. This child had seen too much too early. She was in bed. In a, in, she was in her room taking pictures with a 20-year-old when she was 13. I don't know. This, this is Jaden Smith, her big brother. This is his friend. His friend was in Willow's room. Willow's was 13. The man was 20. So this child has seen a lot in this haunted house. Hills. Aspen. I think it was an Aspen. I was going downstairs to get some juice and I saw for a little moment and I ran away. It always starts with the orange juice. It always starts with that orange, that OJ. I was like, oh my God, this is so crazy what I just see. And then, and then. <laughs> Look, look, look at Jada. She, she's not, she's not ashamed. The grandmama not ashamed. The grandmama don't even speak. I don't know why she up there. Willow needs some therapy. No, it wasn't like right. I was seeing everything. Right. It was, the room, it was dark. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was silhouetted. That was your introduction. So what was your feeling about that? Oh, like I just overstepped the boundary. Something I wasn't supposed to be there. Right. It was like if I walked in on you meditating. Well, if y'all was on a trip, they wasn't supposed to be doing it. Don't don't blame yourself, baby girl. Don't blame yourself for your crazy ass family. Who they need a reality show. They need. Uh, so you know she's coming out with a memoir. Meditating when mommy's meditating. Don't get in her business. You know what I'm saying? I wish Gammy knew that. <laughs> when I meditate, oh, meditate too much. <laughs> Would you guys meditate? Met yeah. Okay. I would love to see what kind of, now you know what, her, whatever thoughts going through Jada's mind, it probably scared me to death. Never mind. You and your meditation. Incense all over the place. This, she's a hippie. Feel uncomfortable talking to your fathers about sex? Whenever I talk to dad about it, it's always an intellectual debate. It's always like about like, okay, so speaking of the degradation of females in the past, you know, how do you believe that that trickles into your experience and it's all and it's, it's very it's very serious but it's not emotional right it's a very you know? intellectual perspective yeah. of it all. and i feel like the it's stuff of life is meant to be lived not analyzed mm. you know i felt like my dad wasn't okay with yeah me yeah, having then what y'all thought it up we're going on to the next video Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here, 250 Gemstones Exchange. That's where I give you guys great content. And in exchange, you guys will be like, comment, or subscribe. Hopefully, all three of the above. Don't be afraid to share my videos. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know how I feel about my chizzing. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. Also, check out my Spotify podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Oh, poor Willow. It's time to get a little bit messy. Uh, if you haven't already, eat you a cup so we can sip together. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, She was in an <laughs> uncompromising situation. She caught her daddy on top of her mama while they were on vacation. But there's other stories that uh, are coming out that Willow is uh, uh, shocked by. She didn't even know her parents were separated. The kids didn't even know they were separated. So separated in, 
they well they can't be separated in physical meaning when, when I'm thinking separated I'm thinking one's at one house one's at the other house we doing our own thing until we finalize the divorce but they saying they're never getting divorced but y'all want I want y'all to check out these videos and I'm gonna be right back with you to give you my opinion let's go Let's look at this mess here. According to HelloMagazine.com, if you guys want to check it out, written by Faye James, Willow Smith shares cryptic resentment post after mom Jada reveals secret split from her dad. In the wake of startling revelation by her mother, Jada Pinkett Smith, Willow Smith, who's 22 years old, took to Instagram sharing a cryptic post that many believe resonates with her current emotional state. The post on her Instagram stories shared on Thursday exhibited that exhibited the definition of resentment. So she posted resentment on her Instagram post. Resentment is literally the experience of feeling something over and over again. Highlighting the cyclical nature of such emotions, it further stated, is being stuck in the loop. A helpful question to ask myself is, do I want to keep feeling this way? If the answer is no, then I get to remind myself that I can choose to feel differently. This profound term was a repost from the account of yoga expert Dayel Karanga. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. So Will and Jada, the kids didn't even know they were broken up. The kids didn't even know Willow is screwed up, y'all. Willow is, I don't know who's more screwed up, Jaden or, or, or Willow, or Will. The only one that seems kind of calm about this is Jada. I'm going to give you guys my opinion. I'm going to meet you on the other side. This is some hot mess right here. Lord, pr please pray for these children. Oh, Willow, 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 Willow. Would you like to hear my opinion? Would y'all like to hear my opinion? Of course you do. That's why your ass is here. This child has seen a lot. There's another article saying that she's on drugs now. I, it, it wouldn't, it, it wouldn't shock me. It wouldn't uh, catch me off guard. Nothing about this family and what they talk about is consistent. None of it makes sense. They're never getting a divorce, but they're separated. So what do you guys have? Right, Willow saw her daddy doing the African squat on her mama. Said the first time she was introduced to sex, it was when daddy was blowing your back out. And and Jada, with that uh, Joker from Batman Lab. <laughs> when was this? When when was this, Willow? Uh. <laughs> Jada. Is pushing this book, and I'm gonna I'm be 100 with you. I think that not only I'm I'm, I'm gonna buy the book, right? <laughs> There's so much information, so much. I think she deliberately deliberately put the information out as a riddle to throw me off, to throw off my psyche because you not you never get a divorce, but you're separated. And then she said there is no need to get a prenup. Will Smith. Doesn't even have a prenup on this crazy broad, right? Doesn't even have a prenup on Jada. So she said there's no read to there's no reason to get a prenup because we're never getting divorced. What is this thing that they have to be together? Y'all are terrible together. And it's rubbing off on the kids. Uh Willow. Now, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I think that she needs to I think she needs to be on some type of uh S word watch. I think she needs to be on some type of S word watch because after then seeing the crack of her daddy behind while he while he was on top of her mama and I know she was just trying to get her some cookies. You know, it's dark in them cabins, on fancy cabins. She's just trying to find the light or maybe she was just trying to ask him. She said it was dark, but that's when she was still introduced. She, she probably smelt it. It was funky in there. She probably tried to ask him a question like, uh, do I need to get prepared for the trip or what do I need to bring on the trip or whatever the question may be. Maybe there's something on Willow's mind. She, she wants to come. She wanted to go to her parents to, to get some type of uh, insight. Oh, she got a sight. All right. She got a sight. 
And then she, she's feel betrayed. She wrote on her Instagram post because her parents didn't tell her that they were separated. They, she's still thinking they together. Y'all go home together. Y'all at the awards together. Shame on us. Shame on you too, Willow. We thought they were married too. We thought your parents, Willow, were still married. Because the man said, uh, after he slapped Chris Rock, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. And then Jado doubled back and said, I don't know why he said that. We've been separated since 2016. I mean, we've been separated since 2016. Did you hear me? 2016. So she said, I don't know. Something is wrong with him. This is what she told the interview. Y'all saw my story yesterday. Did y'all see my story yesterday? If, if not, go ahead and check out that story. It's the long one. I put it on my podcast. You can check it out. She said, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him. We're not together. I'm only here for moral support. But And then Chris Rock tried to apologize to Jada. Chris Rock was a genuine human being. He really thought he hurt uh, Jada Pickett's feelings. So he went to her as a human being. I don't know if they're friends, but they know each other. He went because you know Chris Rock appeared on Will Smith's show. He went to Jada as a man, as a decent human being, and he went over there and told Jada, "I am sorry if I offend you. Listen, Jada, I did not mean anything by you know I'm a it was just a joke." She said, "I know, Chris, and before they can mend their difference, before they can come to a, an agreement and move on. Here comes, she said, Will was huffing and puffing again. He was charging, boy. He was looking like Jerome Bettis back on the steel. He was charging. She said, Chris, she was like, Chris, Chris, please, please, please. He's coming. He's coming. She, she said something was wrong with Will. I don't know why he slapped Chris. I don't know why he telling the whole world that I'm his wife. And then even when me and Chris are trying to uh, make up and apologize, you know, even when Chris trying to apologize to me, she said she didn't even get the opportunity to accept Chris Rock's apology because Will was charging at him like some wild animal. She said R Will Smith was looking like he had rabies. His, he looked all possessed. Get away from my wife. And she, she told the interviewer, she was like, I don't know why he's, we've been separated 2016. I'm not his wife. I mean, on paper, but like, come on, y'all know what's up. We're separate. We're doing our own thing. Willow Smith has to watch all this. Willow Smith has no guidance on the other show. That she said uh, she's in a polyamorous, meaning that she can have sex with men, have sex with women. She can be in multiple romantic relationships at once. I had to Google it. So she she's thotting it up. She saw her daddy uh, doing the African squat with her mama. She didn't even know that her parents were divorced. I mean, uh, well, they probably might as well be divorced. She didn't even know her parents were separated. They kept her out the loop. She's all over Instagram, losing her mind. Willow, baby. Willow, I, uh, ask your daddy for an allowance, and you seriously need to get a vacation from your fo from your folks. It's because I'm a firm believer. Just because we family doesn't mean I be around your ass all the time. And she's 22. It's time for her to get from up under her family and branch off and start a new life and leave all this crap behind because. Jada has become the ultimate marketer of the, the Pinkett Smith family. And I'm about to buy the book because she left me in such suspense. She has left me in such suspense. I'm like, oh, man, I'm, I'm going to buy the the, uh, the visual copy where I can read. And I'm going to buy the audible. Yeah, because uh, she's up as far as branding. Oh, she up there with Kevin Hart. She up there with the, the best of them. She's very articulate. She's still fine. She a freak. She busting it open. I want to know the details of all because I said there's so much that I want to know. The 250 want to know. Mm hmm. Mm. In closing, on the on the real uh, Willow, if, if it's not all a scale, I don't know if this is all a skit to promote a book or Willow really going through it, which I really think she is. Um. Baby, separate yourself and start you a new life. You're only 22. But y'all flood my comments. I really want to know what you guys think. And tell everybody about this channel. We're getting better. We are growing. I am grateful for every share, every like, every comment. 250. I'm gone.